What is up Babylonians, Dan was here and today we're going to be looking at a western stealth shooter with a bit of a supernatural twist and an interesting graphic style as well and this game is Blood West so let's take a look and see what it's all about. Let's first of all take a look at the in-game menu then. So a lovely, nice, simple menu here where you just click on the uh, the options that you want and you don't have to you know, press and hold like some games seem to be doing recently. Uh, but let's take a look at new game. So it's just a basic create an account. So you name the game basically. So if you've got multiple people that want to play this game on your PC, just set it to, so for example, mine's Dan was there. If you wanted to play it, you just set it as Songs of Rays. And as you can see in the load game, you'll be able to see that you have the, the name of the game there. You'd have to another one below it, etc. Uh, then if we go into the options, you've got your display options that you can change. Uh, you change your resolution as well. You've got the, the sensitivity of the mouse and your, your y-axis, whether you want to reverse that, say up is down, down is up, or down is down, up is up. Uh, some people do like it the other way around, and I don't know why, but I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a skill, I guess. <laughs> uh, then you've got your, your sound, so you've got your, your master volume here, your music volume, the ambient sounds, and the, the voices in-game as well. Then you've got your key binding, so you can change each and every key binding in the game as well. Which is brilliant to see that you're not forced or locked into anything on there. And then you've got your different languages as well. You've got your system native uh, English, German, Russian, uh, Polish, and uh, whatever this one is. If you know what this one is, comment below because I'd be interested to know. Uh, but we'll stick with obviously uh, system native. Uh, you've then got the credits which haven't been done just yet. So these are to do. Uh, you've got your join Discord button and obviously exit to quit the game. But let's have a look at some gameplay now and see what this game is all about. So thankfully, the game doesn't just throw you straight into anything. It actually does put you through a tutorial. So we just skipped actually a, a bit of dialogue. Uh, nothing too important, just uh, an introduction to the game. And you can obviously view that once you play the game yourself as well, just to learn the story. Uh, but yeah, so it pops you into a nice tutorial with some enemies around, and as you can see, it's got some uh, mechanics in terms of sight and sound. So that, uh, I guess, zombie has uh, a sin me. You get a little bit of time to sort of react to it, so you could sort of hide if need be. Get that meter down so it can't see you, uh, and then you can not have to be chased or have to make the kill. Um, but then, as I say, you can hide into little areas like this to get away from enemies as you are walking. The sound bar, as you can see down the bottom, is going up. And you want to make sure that obviously that doesn't get full because that's when the enemies will then start to react to you. Now, weapons in this game are uh, probably quite heavy on the, the melee. That. But also you do get the, the ranged weapons as well. So here we have the, uh, the, ha the the axe to start off with. Uh, with this, it's definitely encouraged that you uh, play very, very stealthily. Uh, you do have a stamina bar as well. So as you are running, as you are swinging your, your weapons, that stamina bar does go down. So you've got to be aware of that. Uh, so when you have multiple enemies, you've got to make sure that you aren't sort of... Uh, Letting it go too too low. Uh, so you get a critical hit from behind, from the front. It's a bit hard to kill. And also you will take some damage as well. So as you can see, we are bleeding there. So later on in the game, you will find uh, bandages. So you can bandage yourself up to prevent the bleeding. Uh, and as you can see here, we've now got a, a shotgun as well. Uh, so limited amount of ammo as well. Ammo is kind of hard to come by. You do want to um, try and sort of savour the ammo if possible. And don't forget, obviously, to, to loot all of the corpses uh, when you do get the kill. 
so let's have a talk about the graphic style then. So whilst they are nothing special, I think they have done a brilliant job with them still. So things look like they're, they're meant to. This axe definitely looks like an axe. The, the enemies look like zombies. There's there's nothing that makes me think, oh well, what what what's this? Oh, this doesn't look that nice. Uh, anything like that. It's not that I can't understand anything. And if I'm being perfectly honest, whilst playing the game, the graphics didn't really sort of come into the, the equation when it came to how much am I enjoying this game. Once you're playing it, you do still get quite immersed into the game. It's Yes, it's not AAA graphics. It's very basic, almost Minecraft, I guess you could say. Very uh, pixel orientated. But honestly, I'm quite enjoying the, uh, the the graphic style as it is. Definitely does what it needs to do. So, 100%. I think they've actually uh, got a winner with the the graphic style. They haven't spent too much time working on that, uh, making it pristine. But they've they've made a game that's probably playable on any any device really. If you've got a a PC back from 1995, chances are you'll be able to run this. It's definitely not very taxing on the system. And honestly, I, I still think it's quite quite a pretty game to look at. It's obviously very, very dark. I think the entire game, from what I've seen so far, is based around night time. Uh, whether that's part of the story, I can't remember. Um, because if I'm being honest, you are a... a uh, a reborn soul, I guess you could say. You, you have been brought back from the dead to um, to get rid of all the the ghouls. But yeah, I'm, I, I don't mind that it's uh, <clears throat> a very a very dark game. Uh, but the lighting effects that it does have, it's like the moon shining onto here. I think is uh, still quite quite pretty. So there is actually a leveling system in the game as well. So as you may have seen, uh, when I took a few shots earlier, I got headshot damage um, with the, the pistol. So there's actually things like uh, from different ranges, you have uh, less damage with the with weapons, uh, which is a really nice feature to have. So you've got to get up and close uh, early game anyway, so you are taking risks early game. And then you've got your your weapon attack speed and things like that that you can increase. So you can, with the the weapons, you can change it so you can get headshot damage or higher headshot damage from further away. Uh, you can increase your stealth. You can increase uh, your 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 health. You increase the or decrease the damage that you take. You can increase your attack speed. You can you can do pretty much anything and everything that you you would think that you can do in a in a sort of an RPG. I guess it is technically a a looter shooter of sorts because you are looking for different weapons, uh, better pistols, better shotguns, better melee weapons, etc. So this is a game that you can spend hours upon hours on, sort of build, creating your build, um, working your way through to uh, the, I guess the end game here. Whilst it's not like your typical looter shooter where you have a repeatable end game to my knowledge it is something that you are working towards defeating a final boss uh, and potentially more if they bring out any kind of DLC for this game as well now as said before stealth is a very big part of this game so you are going to be sort of sneaking around the the buildings you're going to be keeping an eye on that uh, that audio meter you're going to be Keeping an eye out for the sort of paths and patterns of enemies, watching to see which way they will be heading. Uh, obviously, here you can see there's two enemies here, so you've got to make a choice whether you try and take one out quietly and then the other, or are you going to have to go loud? It's a lot of planning in this, uh, which I think is is done really well. I think they've actually done the stealth element really well. Um, you can get away with killing one enemy and not alerting the other. Obviously that time was very, very unlucky that he decided to, to turn around, but you can see we made quite a lot of sound killing that first enemy as well, so we weren't far off 
him catching us anyway. Uh, but we did try and go the silent method. Um, but obviously it didn't quite work out. You've got to also look around quite a lot for, for your loot. You're going to want to find your your ammo, <clears throat> your potions, your bandages. And there are also sort of relics that you collect and take back to um, a totem, which I think that's what allows you to sort of level up as well. Uh, as you can see, we, we made quite a bit of noise there, which <clears throat> drew a couple of the, uh, the corpses towards us as well. So we're not doing too well with the stealth element. And we are also uh, bleeding quite a bit there. So taking a potion will slowly regenerate your health. It's not an instant uh, take it and wham, back up to X amount of health. You do have to sort of wait and <clears throat> play it quite tactically and make sure that there aren't any enemies pushing you at the time or get yourself into a good defensive position and just all round be careful. Now, full damage, I don't know if there is any in this. We didn't take any there, but there's probably every chance that there is full damage. Can't see why there wouldn't be. Now, my advice would be to check every building for loot. You want to try and get the best weapons possible, the most amount of uh, healing items as well. And obviously, ammo is your best friend in this game. Enemies are best picked off one by one if possible, keeping a safe place to your advantage. So up here, I feel like the enemies probably can't get to me, so it was safe to take the shots there. And then if any other enemies were pulled or drawn towards the, the, the fight, uh, then they wouldn't be able to get to me unless they have ranged weapons. Now, enemies are very interesting here. We have quite a, a large array of, of enemies. So here we have a... Uh, <laughs> a lady of the night, I guess you could say, uh, holding a shotgun. Um, and then you've got the, the generic sort of corpses that you have to kill. You've got the, the birdmen uh, who are sort of ranged their pistols. And then we also have uh, some floating skull heads, which are very difficult to shoot and very damaging. So you have to try and make sure that you can get them before they get you. Now, another thing to note as well with weapons is, so for example, with this pistol here, we do have multiple different uh, bullet types as well. So different bullets will do uh, different jobs, some more powerful, some might have better range. Uh, so you've got to sort of pick the, the ammo for the situation as well. I mean, you can easily hot swap that whilst you're, whilst you're fighting as long as uh, you, you have enough time that you're not going to just get slaughtered whilst you do so. Uh, but yeah, but the game itself I do think is quite a difficult game to, to play. It's definitely um, not one for the, the faint-hearted. People who aren't really, I guess, a fan of the, the Souls sort of genre of games, like your Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne, etc. If you're not a big fan of those kind of games, this is very similar in, in a way. So if you do die, you do get a penalty for dying. As you can see in the bottom left, we've got like one out of three on the uh, on that brain image there. So that's sort of, I think it lowers your skills. So the more you die, the less uh, effective that skill tree is for you. Uh, but it's definitely worth getting. At the moment, you can get it on Steam for, I think, £11.49 or something like that. Which I think, to be honest with this game, is a bargain. Um, I would highly recommend buying it at that. Uh, if you want to wait for it to come down in price, I don't think necessarily you need to on this, but uh, you'll probably have to pick it up for a fiver in one of the Steam sales, I'm sure, and 100% it's worth that, that kind of money for it. So as a whole, guys, I'd give this game a good 7 out of 10. Definitely recommend the purchase. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep yourself safe, keep yourself well, and we'll see you in the next video.